so this is day 3 6 31 october 31st This is the road to Khad Samble. It's going to be a small section and then we climb up there to Dangarwada. Yeah. And then uh, hike east towards the Gangad Fort which is there again but like behind behind this thing. Oh, a beautiful statue. After taking clues from the locals, we are making our way through an unmapped trail <coughs> all the way to a beautiful settlement on the top called Dhankar Wada. So someone just crossed this area, I guess, and hence we have some sort of a trail here. Whew. So pretty. Yeah, there's a smell. Super hot. No wind early morning. The aim is to go to this uh, hamlet on the top of this big wide plateau. The name of the ha hamlet is Dhangar, Dhangarwada. Climbing along a beautiful valley. Nice. Oi. <laughs> Sorry. Gully is getting steeper. But a nice clearance. Guys taking us all the way up. Nice and peaceful. Wild, wild western ghats. <laughs> Get some bonfire, eat some rice, so it's, it's old. What a path. <laughs> yeah, so the mountains say talk to you. See. Woo! 
<laughs> Instant message. But why are they saying the same thing? Yeah, because they're just copying us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Echo. True, true. Can you try? No? You don't I want to do this? but I don't want. Okay. Conservation of <coughs> energy. Conservation of energy, yeah. We came through that, that girl. It's, wow, it's so pretty. Run for the right jaw. Hmm. Mm. True, true. Yeah, that's the beautiful Tel Baila. And uh, Savasani Ghat would be would be somewhere there. That's where we were yesterday evening. And if you look into the Survey of India maps, you will see that this place, this plateau is called uh, Kevani Pathar. Pathar is basically a plateau, I guess. Yeah, we are seven kilometers in the hike and we can, we can see Gangar there. down a little just to climb back up again it's nice and windy so we climb up the plateau again need to figure out the trail Kaki Namaste Mala Gangad la jai chai? Yes, he is one Rasta hai? Yes Acha 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 Where is it? Can you ask her do we climb it or? Ah, Dungard Vada. Ah, Kevni. Kevni. Kupa Chan, Jage. Take a kaki. Dunyavan. Yeah, very nice path. You're back on the saddle. Wow. Look at those walls. <gasps> The mighty Western Ghats. Shit up. Hoo 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 and we'll hike towards Yakole, which acts as the base for Ghangad, the fort. Nice single trail to follow. And that's that's Tel Baila. 
Wow. Beautiful. And this is such a beautiful sight. You can see the Tel Bella and the wind makes the grass swing and sway. It looks extremely beautiful. Now we have already climbed some 750 meters in the last nine and a half kilometers. It has been three and a half hours. The time is 10, 10 a.m. And we are at the base of Gangad. It's a beautiful, beautiful fort. Namaste, Kaka. Huh? 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 क्या कर रहे हैं? हाथ पर अच्छा हाथ एक है चुली साथी चुली देख नाउ वी हैव मेड इट टू यकोला बाय 10:30 एम नाउ वी क्लाइम अप द फोर्ट नमस्ते काकी नमस्ते हाँ yeah, so we came near a well just to fill our water bottles. Let's see how clean the water is. Whoa. <laughs> I don't think it's clear. <laughs> so this is how we get water from the well. Drop it. Clean it a bit. Make the dirt go away. And then boom. But it fills a little in round one. Another one. Okay. Pull it up. Screen water. Yeah, this is a very nice thing, I guess. Though I don't understand Marathi a lot, what it says that when you can climb up with a filled water bottle all the way to the top of the fort, when it's empty, why can't you just bring it down? Yeah. Nice. A beautiful temple on the trail. Right there. Yeah, this has this is all that we have that we have done until now. We crossed the whole uh, Kevni plateau, climbed up from this saddle, and then hiked all the way to Gangad. Beautiful views on uh, Tel Bella, and now we now we get down. Yeah, beautiful. Yeah. And we have uh, seven more people joining us. That's that's where Hedi and Tamini Ghat is. So that's our uh, next approach. But a yeah, beautiful, beautiful views. That is uh, that is Sudagad. We also did that yesterday. We can also see a water body that's that's Mulshi Dam. 
done with the beautiful Gangad fort short and tricky climb we have done with some thousand meters of elevation gain time is 11:30 a.m covered some 13 kilometers in the last five hours yeah let's get down quickly back to the base village of Ikole We climb down from there, okay? You just have to face how you were climbing and then get down. Face towards the slope, not towards the ground. It's a nice uh, iron ladder, takes you down all the way. Yeah. <laughs> so 12 p.m. we are back on the back on the road, and the plan is to go to this village called Ghutke and then find a trail to Hirdi Wadi and then get down to Bira. We'll have to walk on the road for some three kilometers. I feel I have a big big group now we are 13 people strong that's that's convert so we're walking on the road for another three kilometers yeah i'm coming back to hidi after Three four years I guess I used to come here when I used when I did my underburn trek, which actually got pretty pretty viral on YouTube. Oh, so this brings back memories. We'll take a quick break here, maybe refill our water bottles, drink something, and then we descend to Bira Dam. And if we can find some lemon water, it would be great. Whoa. There was no such thing earlier. <laughs> Andarban, agro tourism. Raniachi was Jevan Sati Uttam Soy. So it's best service. Can you ask her for lemon water? Oh, she is Nimu Pani Bhati. Nimu Pani Bhati. Oh. Then we'll have some water. Kai Bhati. It's so hot here. <laughs> yeah, that's the beautiful Bira Dam right, right there ahead of us. 
it's a beautiful three and a half kilometer descent should take an hour most probably so nice big path it's pretty harsh sun Yeah, so that's where uh, the Hirdi Wadi is. That's the village. Beautiful, steep drops. Yeah, that's that's where the famous Devkund waterfall is. You can see a glimpse of Bira, the dam. Yeah, staggering, staggering. What a break! What a break! Yeah, this is quite a descent, but it's a good one. Yeah, we've done some 28 kilometers, 1200 meter up, nine hours, and it is 3:37 p.m. Mr. Sam, yo. <laughs> oh, beautiful site! I was here three years ago. At that time, I didn't know any app or map or navigation or contours. I was just hiking using. clues on the ground so this place bira dam brings back a lot of memories documented this as part of the andarban hike but wow this is this is very pretty yeah so sort of stuck here at bira there is a power plant tata tata's power plant and the trail which is mapped goes right right through this road but uh, there is nothing nothing at all no other clue for a trail plus we are losing time so stopping my watch as of now here at 32 km in 10 and a half hours and we'll try to reach other wadi in in a vehicle now and this one was like a mapped trail so i will definitely remove it now uh if you're a local you're allowed to go through the power plant but as hikers we talked to the security guard and he said that no it's it's not allowed to do so so now since we are losing time we would rather just do a detour and uh, reach to other wadi <laughs> Good night. This is the sleeping arrangement for the day. Eight people up, first floor. Four people down, ground floor. Floor. Impulse. Impulse. Hold that again, man.